What's up everybody, Rebecca Louise here with your complete toned upper body. This workout is 10 minutes long. You can get the full version when you get access to my book, It Takes Grit, all the details are right here. Okay, let's get going. We're gonna first off, start off, we're gonna put those arms over out to the side here and we're just gonna do pulses right here. So release those shoulders away from those ears, tuck those hips underneath and let's pulse it out. So you can make this harder because you can, guess what? You can grab weights into your hand. So try this workout first of all without adding any weights, okay? Or adding very light weight. And then each time that you do it, you can improve by adding in more weights, making it more challenging for yourself. Or if you're like Rebecca, I got this down, adding weights right now. Okay, so here we go. Little tiny pulses, just out to the side in three, two, one and release down okay shake out those arms we're going to do the same thing we're going to bring it right here 90 degrees and we're going to go up and down so the goal here is to keep those elbows in line with the shoulders slight bend in the knees tuck those hips underneath and let's go for it small little pulses you've got this now release those shoulders away from the ears have a nice straight line from your shoulders all the way through to your elbows and I am not here to let you quit. All you have to do is keep moving your body. If there's a time right now where you're finding it too challenging, just move your arms around, move your body around. We are not pressing pause. We are just making sure that we keep moving our bodies. That's it, let's keep going for three, two, one, and release. Now, if you wanna add in your resistance bands to this exercise, you can. You're gonna take a nice wide squat, grab that band, that burn band around your wrist. You're gonna come all the way down here and we're just gonna do little pulses just like so. So you have to decide today what results you want to get. I am here to give you the tools. You just have to follow along. It's literally that simple. So if you're like, oh, I just don't feel like it, tell yourself today that you are going to feel like it. And remember, whew, if you are still looking cute after you have done this workout, I'm telling you, my friends, you have not worked out hard enough, okay? I wanna see that sweat, I wanna see that hair messy, whew, and I wanna see ya. Oh, that burn in those, those arms and the upper body. And release down. Okay, we're gonna add in the weights this time. So whichever weight is the right one for you, remember our upper body, we're gonna be using lower weight than we will our legs. And we're gonna take it into flies. So bring both arms in front, we're gonna take it out and then bring it back together. So tuck those hips underneath. We're adding in this new move. And all you're gonna do is slightly hinge forward and then take it out to the side. That's it, pull all the way. Hold it for one little split second at the top and then bring it all the way back down. You've got this. So nice and strong with those arms, keep them nice and straight. Know that with every single rep that you do, you are working towards those goals. Take it out and release down. Okay, we're gonna repeat that again. So you're gonna bring those arms out to the side in that 90 degree, right? We've got our shoulder in line with our elbow and we're gonna take it in small little pulses. So you've already done it once, now we just gotta to execute to another level. So let's make it a little bit more challenging for ourselves. That's it, so if you haven't added weights in, maybe this is the time, add like two, three pounds. That's all you're gonna need here. And then you can start to increase the five pounds. Right, now make sure that you're going straight out to the side and have those pulses. Woo, yeah, we got this, keep on going. Hands straight up, release those shoulders away from the ears and let's fight for it. Today we have got to fight for the workout. We've got to fight for our results. We can decide what we want to look like, but we just have to keep on going and release all the way down. Okay, shake out those arms. We're gonna bring them straight out in front. So again, you've got perpendicular arms straight out towards me, palms are facing up, and together for three, two, one, let's go. Small little pulses. We got this. Now releasing those shoulders, pull that belly button in, and the ribs down. The last thing that you wanna do is be arching your back, okay? Because we're gonna put our back out, we're not gonna be supported, and we wanna make sure everything is nice and controlled. So bring those arms, tiny little pulses. Now it's not big ones like this, I'm keeping that 90 degrees, and all I'm doing is pulsing in and out. Okay, you got this, hold those elbows up. I know you feel like you wanna pull them down, but we are not. Let's keep on going for three, two, one, and release. Okay, grab back that band for me. Add it around your wrist. Take it nice and wide in that squat and pushing those knees out to the side, remember. We work with that with our legs. Always thinking about pushing those knees out to the side 
and let's take it in those pulses. So I'm going to be adding in random little other exercises from body parts to see if you remember how the correct way is doing it. Because now that your attention is on your upper bodies, did you remember when you did that squat to push your knees out? Hmm, maybe not. So this time, you're going to start to train your brain that even if you are distracted, you are still doing the form correctly. Let's get a little bit lower. Push those knees out, release those shoulders away. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, we're gonna take it back into those flies. So grab those weights, your palms are gonna be facing towards you. You're gonna bring your body hinge forward, sticking that booty back, pull those abs in, the ribs down, and three, two, one, let's take it in those flies. Out you go, and bring it back to the center. A little tiny pause at the top, and squeeze that back together. That's it, both of those shoulder blades, squeezing and engaging that back muscle. Now make sure the weight is in your heels so you can slightly lift up your toes and release down. You got this. Breathe in and exhale. Less than 10 seconds to go. We're gonna go on to our second set. Watch those knees and give me one more. Hold at the top and release down. Okay, you're gonna come down to the ground. You're gonna grab hold of just one of your weights and we're gonna do a bicep curl, okay? With, uh, we're gonna take both weights. We're gonna do a double bicep curl. So three, two, one, let's go. You're gonna come all the way up to the top and then you're gonna come halfway. So we're not gonna bring it all the way down because I wanna create some tension. I wanna have a little bit of tension still in that arm, okay? In the bicep muscle. So bring it all the way up to the shoulders, come down to 90 degrees, hold for a split second and then bring it all the way back up. You've got this. Come down, release those shoulders. Squeeze those abs, squeeze those glutes, and you've got five, four, three, two, one, and release down. Okay, we're gonna take it into some shoulder taps. So you're gonna come up onto your high plank and you're gonna tap across. So you're pushing all of the weight into that supporting hand. Three, two, one, let's go. So lift up, keep both of those hips facing forwards, and you're gonna push down into that hand, really feeling that whole upper body is supported by that one hand. Option number two, come down to your knees and do the same thing, but tilt slightly forward so that you can really feel that upper body working. That is the most important thing because we don't want that weight in the bottom part of our body because guess what? We're working the upper part. Three, two, one, and release. Okay, flipping over onto your back, onto your booty, we're gonna take it into some of those tricep dips, okay? So we've done these before, so push your hands underneath and we're gonna lift all the way up. We're gonna slowly come down, almost touching the ground, and then we're gonna push all the way back up and then we're gonna tap either side. So adding something onto it this time. Come all the way till a few inches off the ground, push up nice and tight and then take it across. Option number two, you can come down here and you can release your booty on the ground but just give it a go. Come all the way up to the top, tap across, yes. And all the way down, give me one more, push up nice and high, all of that weight in that supporting hand, and slowly all the way down to the ground. Okay, grab hold of your resistance band. You're gonna come into your supermans. Super ladies, super women, super men, whatever you are, we are gonna come straight out in front and you can add this resistance band for a little bit more. And all we're gonna do is little pulses here. So make sure that your feet are zapped together, your thighs are closed, and you are squeezing that glute. Both of your glutes, right Penny? And you're gonna lift your chest up and then hold that tension in the band. Don't bring your arms all the way back to center. I want you to hold them at least straight out from your shoulders and then add that little bit of resistance. Lift that chest up more for three, two, and one. Okay, release down. Oh my goodness. We're gonna take it back into that very first exercise that we did for our round two. We're gonna take it into those bicep curls, okay? So you're gonna tuck those hips underneath, bring it in front, in three, two, one, let's go. All the way up to the top, halfway. Now why don't we add a little pulse in here? All the way, and that little pulse. Release those shoulders away from your ears. Really pull those shoulder blades down all through your back. Now tuck those hips underneath, pulling those ribs down so that we're not arching our back. And let's go for it. Breathe through. Give me one more. All the way, hold that pulse. And release all the way down to the ground. 
Okay, back into those shoulder taps. So come over onto your front. You're gonna push down into your hands, come up onto your toes, tucking those hips underneath. And let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. Taking it across. Now, release those hips facing both down to the ground. You wanna push nice and strong into your hand. So try and tilt forward a little bit more and you're gonna feel it even more in that upper body. Now, if this is too much on your wrists, you can even make your wrist hands into a fist or you can actually hold on to weights so because it's gonna change the direction of your hand. So you can make this work. Again, you can always come down to your knee in three, two, one, and release down. Okay, well, that is the first part of the workout. Make sure that you sign up for It Takes Grit so you can get the book, the pre-sale goodies, and also the full workout. Here's the next one in our series. Check it out, and I'll see you for our next round. See you later. Do not give up. Do not give up on anything. There is no need to. You will not fail at anything as long as you do not quit. So simple. And when you think that life is actually...